how Solus's HA failover works. As you know, Solus supports high availability built into the broker. And in this demo, I'm going to be showing how you can easily fail over from the primary broker to the backup broker. So I already have configured two brokers in HA configuration. Here's my primary broker deployed in an AWS EC2 instance. You can see that it's running version 9.13. Similarly, I've deployed a backup broker in AWS as well. Behind the scenes, there are actually three nodes doing the magic. Um, over here, I have the primary broker. So. We do show router name. This is our primary broker that we just saw earlier. This is our backup broker. And additionally, we have a monitoring node. This monitoring node is a very lightweight node and its responsibility is to simply avoid split brain scenarios. So all three of these nodes are deployed on AWS and they've been configured uh, to work together in an HA configuration. So we can see that through show redundancy group. And we can see that we have three nodes, two of the message router type, which are our primary brokers and the backup broker. And with the third node is called monitor and it's of the monitor node type. And they're all online as they should be, perfect. We also have config sync as part of the HA configuration enabled, which means that whatever configuration changes I make on the primary broker are instantly replicated to the backup broker. So that in case our primary node fails, I don't have to worry about configurations being out of sync. So let's see um, if that's actually working. So if we go to our default VPN in both brokers, right? If we go to access control, and client usernames, we can see that both of these have only the default username. So if I create a client username called demo here, enable it and give it a password demo. So creating a username on our primary broker. And as soon as I do that, if I refresh my screen here, I can see that that username was also created on my backup broker. Great. Additionally, I can create a queue called Q1 on my primary broker. Give it the default settings, great, okay. And just to show that, you know, if I go to Qs over here, it's there as well, right. Now, I don't have any subscriptions, as you can see, there are no subscriptions, but if I were to add a subscription here, Equity US, okay is a wild card, okay. We'll see it instantly replicated to the backup broker as well. Perfect, exactly what we expected. Now, let's go back to our VPN. So I have over here three windows where I'll be running Solus's SDK perf, which is a command line utility for uh, simulating publishers and subscribers. So. I will have two subscribers. It will be one that will directly connect, bind to the queue that we just created, Q1. So here I'm running a Java um, SDK Perf utility tool and I'm telling it to subscribe to my Q1 that I created and I'm giving it a host list of my primary broker and the backup broker. And I'm telling it to connect using the demo username that I just created, default VPN and the password is demo. And MD just means that print out the messages that you receive on the screen so we can see them. And I'm telling it to have a, you know, try five times uh, for reconnect. So if, if the connection fails, something goes wrong, try a couple of times. Similarly, so if I just run that, okay. So now we have connected to the broker, to the VPN and have um, started binding to the Q1. Similarly, we can also subscribe to the messages directly by subscribing to topics instead of having to bind to a queue. So in this example, similar logic, same reconnect option, um, but I will be subscribing directly to a topic instead of a queue. Okay. Right. 
Now if we go back to our screen to the primary broker, look at the queue that we had created earlier, we can see that we have our subscription, great, but we can also see that we have our consumer binding to it, right? Perfect. Let's see what we have on our backup broker. I'm gonna queues. So we don't have any consumer binding to the queue on the backup broker because our consumer is currently binding on the primary broker. Perfect. So let's start a publisher now. So here's the command line option for the publisher using the same utility. I'm telling it to publish messages on this topic, equities, US, NYSE, and Apple. And I'm telling it to be uh, of persistent quality of service and publish a bunch of messages with the message rate of 10 messages per second. And the message size will be 100 bytes. And the same command line options for uh, host uh, list and uh, username and password and the reconnect logic. All right, so we do that and you see as soon as we start that command we have a publisher that's publishing messages it's being consumed in a both persistent and non-persistent way by uh, binding to a queue with topic mapped to it or directly consuming via topics if you go to our vpn we can see a lot of activity happening here right a lot of messages being published um, and going through this VPN, whereas there's nothing happening on the backup broker. If we also look at the clients that are connected, I'm going to clients, Solus clients, we can see there are three clients, one publisher and two subscribers um, connected to the primary broker. And if we go to our backup broker, Solus clients, you can see those clients are not connected to the backup broker. Okay, now let's revert uh, activity now let's simulate failover um, so that we will tell our primary broker to release activity as we say it in in Solus, uh, so that the backup can take over and we'll see that there will not be any um, loss of connection uh, with the publisher or subscribers they will continue publishing and subscribing to data um, there will be a brief disconnect from the primary broker as as backup broker takes over so the the applications over here they will briefly get disconnected and connected to the backup broker okay so let's try that so we're going to go to over primary broker and we will say enable configure redundancy and we'll tell it to release activity as soon as I run this command, the backup node will be up, but the redundancy will be down. Okay, we see, we see something happen over here. Now if we go to our UI, we'll see that the clients have disconnected from the primary broker. And if we refresh on our backup broker, we'll see all three clients have connected automatically to the backup broker. And if we go back and see the publication and subscription activity is uh, going as expected. Now, how about we bring that over back to how it was before, right? Let's say we had an issue with our primary broker, we fixed it. Now we would like to revert back to our primary broker being the primary broker and backup being a standby broker. So to do that, we can say no release activity home and then on the backup broker we say enable admin redundancy and we'll say revert activity again we'll notice a similar behavior there is a slight disconnect and then the activity picks up again so if we look back at our UI we'll see that the clients disconnect from the backup broker and now they have gone back to connecting to the primary broker. Perfect. And that's it. That's uh, how easy it is to fail over um, with Solus's HA. And it's very quick, very reliable. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions.
Thanks.